Yay, Suburban Mom did her questionnaire. I was feeling so bored today. It's The sun's coming out now, but it was raining cats and dogs here before. Okay, your questionnaire. Are you normal? Question number one. I'm doing this just the spur of the moment. I'm not going to even try and think too much. <laughs> Never mind. What do you do when someone asks you how much you paid for something? Tell them the truth. You know? I don't, just tell them the truth. When you're feeling blue and need a pick-me-up, what do you do? Double up on my medication. <laughs> no. I would say I probably put on music that I really like, dance around the house a little bit. Um, if it's a nice day, I go out in, in the garden, do a little gardening in the backyard. Um, yeah, make a cup of tea, have something sweet. Sweets always make you feel better, especially butter tarts. Mm -mm. Oh, number three, do your pets see you naked? Have you ever seen a dog laugh? Well, I have. Yes. Number four, do you know how much your spouse makes? Yes, I do. And he's not being paid what he should be. How often do you weigh yourself? What do you wear when you weigh yourself? Well, it's kind of a two-parted question or answer because I weigh myself in the nude. That's when I'm feeling confident. When I'm not feeling so confident, I wear a lot of clothing and heavy shoes because then you can blame it on what you're wearing. Whatever you weigh, you can say, well, I can take off like 10 pounds for this pair of, of uh, shoes. <laughs> Do you believe in ESP? Do you have ESP? I believe, yes, I believe in ESP. And I do believe that I have it. I have a, well, we all have it. We're just not using it. We, uh, we don't use half of the abilities that we, we have. Number seven, if you could be any character from a book, who would it be and why? I love books. I'd almost like to be the Velveteen Rabbit because the Velveteen Rabbit was loved even when his eyes and hair fell out. And cuddled and taken care of and he could listen to everyone's thoughts and I love that book so much but I think um, Cinderella that's the character I would pick for me because she went through a lot of um, difficulties in her life and I've been through some and and then Prince Charming came along and at the dance, as did my husband. He uh, swept me off my feet like Prince Charming, I would say. And I'm pretty sure I, I've had this happy ending. So far, it's been a happy ending. Mm, I'll go with Cinderella. Um, how do you brush your teeth? Up and down, back and forth. 
Yeah. Up and down, back and forth. With a soft bristled brush. What would you do if a cashier mistakenly gave you back more changes than what change than was warranted? I need my glasses on. Oh, this was number nine, sorry. Um, if she gave me back too much change, would all depend. Isn't this awful? This is terrible. I'd have to say it would depend on if it was um, a lot of change. I know what that's like working in retail and that, that if you're short at the end of the day, it can sure screw you up and keep you overtime at night doing the paperwork. I used to hate that, doing the paperwork at night and be short. By a few cents, it's not so bad. But if I, if, if the, uh, the cashier was, you know, um, very belligerent or something to me right from the get-go, I probably would keep it. But if, if she was being nice, he or she, I'd give it back if it, was, if, if it was a lot because I know what they go through at the end of the day. So, anyway, those are my answers. Um, thanks, Suburban Mom, because I needed this today. Now look, the sun's out. See what you did? Okay, everybody, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.